Yeah, so I, I love the education process with all of this and the VA actually requires uh, or prohibits uh, buyers from paying certain VA non-allowable fees. So typically there's about $3,500 worth of fees that okay. you as the veteran are not able to contribute towards. It's really great for limiting the, the amount of cash you need in order to close, but we can structure it either with seller credits or lender credits so that you're not having to come out of pocket with that. But um, you know, you have your lender, title and escrow closing fees mm -hmm. and then the va does also require impound or taxes and insurance included in the monthly payment to the bank so that can be you know five thousand dollars or so for title and escrow and lender fees and then it's about thirty five hundred uh, to four thousand in reserves depending on the, the purchase price that you're looking at. Okay. So out of that estimated, you know, eight to $9,000, 3,500 to 4,000 of that would be non-allowable to be paid for by the buyer, by the veteran. And so, I mean, we can get veterans in if we're structuring this and, and, um, and talking about it um, the right way up front with as little as $500 out of pocket. So oh, wow, okay, really, really phenomenal opportunity, um, and that's kind of where the VA um, no down, no closing costs comes from.